Hello, today is another uh, tutorial how to uh, use your newly uh, footage from your Magic Lantern that which now records MLV files, which is a proprietary or open source, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But the cool thing about shooting in MLV is that you has the capability of recording audio at the same time. A lot of professionals don't do that, they actually record with another, rec with another software or another hardware, you know, like an audio recorder audio rec audio recorder sorry uh, but a lot of amateurs like us well we just want the audio then you know it helps us a little bit um, we're not professional well, I'm not so with MOV you can have audio with your video which is cool for my son because my son has is like almost a year old and I can finally capture him in raw footage with audio without the hassle of you know Sinking external, but we're going uh, a little off topic. All right, so to get your your MLV into a video file, first you have to get or you already have Magic Lantern Raw Video Converter. I have one point nine point one. There's actually a brand new one, but I already downloaded the MLV file from my Compact Flash into this new folder. I'm gonna select it, new folder. Okay. Uh, let's see, what does that run that run that see there's the video okay now what I'm going to do is select the output DNG same folder now I'm going to put this test now it's going to convert it it's going really fast uh, sometimes again this this is uh, can take from couple of seconds couple of minutes to an hour um, I actually one time I had a uh, had a 8 gig MLV file which got separated to different formats how to do this but if you guys know me see my other video it shows you how to join split files into one big one uh, but when I record on raw and especially it's those large files I don't use audio because it chews up too much memory. My compact flash is from a computer bay, 32 gigs, 1000 X. I plan to get 64 in a couple of weeks. It's done. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to open Adobe After Effects. I'm going to, but let's show you. All right. You see this folder it's right here. This is the MLV. This is the output. Uh, there's something wrong with my list. See, there's all the M DNG files, right? And this last one is the WAV file. Yeah, the MLV records the WAV file, which I'll show you how to sync that with Adobe Premiere. But first, I have to record the DNG into a AVR or MP4. Let's go back. Let's import file desktop new. I always pick the first one and it grabs all of them. Again, this is just a test. Grab that. Now I'm going to uh, actually, um, next time I'm going to show you guys how you, my next video is how to do proper color grading. That's next in a couple of days. Okay, I'm going to export. I have to include a loss list to. H.6, okay. Test. I just use the same thing. Render. Now it's rendering. I'll be back. Okay, now the uh, DNG has been converted to MP4. Now it's time to add the audio. I'm going to close this one out. I don't need to save. I'm going to go to Adobe Premiere Pro. Premiere Project. Yes, don't care about that. I'm going to import. There it is. Now I'm going to have to make a new sequence. Now I just picked uh, Canon's 1080p. Just a quick one. Now I'm going to drag this, put it right there, change, and then put it right there. 
Well, actually, I'm going to go undo that. I'm going to do this way because I'm going to convert it. Oh, there it is. All right. There it is. Now I'm going to now I'm going to add the uh, sorry the I'm going to add the wave file. Now it's added. All right, there it is. I'm going to turn down the audio to 12. Actually, I'm going to go to 12. About 21. All right, now you see right here, it's always off by a little bit. I think it still records, so I always, first I link them together, and then I cut them right about the end. And then I cut, and now I just do export into media. I'm going to change it to 4. Change it to you know, match source, don't matter. And I'm gonna, it's going to be 7 megs, but actually, I can go to the other file like 1080p. And then I'm going to export it. No, hold on. I'm going to change this to. Desktop right here, uh, simple file and export. Now the export is going to just take quick. Watch. See, if you don't do any color grading, which Adobe After Effects when you do it, it takes a lot more. And also when you do it in a Premiere, color grading is time. It just takes a lot of time. Close it. And right here, the new file is. And there it is. You see, I'm done. Uh, thank you for watching this video. In a couple of weeks, I promise to have a tutorial of color grading from an amateur's point of view. All right. Hope this video helps, guys.